Hey love, hey love, hey love. Triumphant Thursday to you. <laughs> yes, I'm in my one of, one of my striped dresses. I can wash it and rewear it as often as I want, y'all. Remember, I'm retired. I ain't got to be doing what I was doing before. I'm not going to do what I did before, which was make sure I changed clothes, sh shirts, everything. A different shirt every day. Different pair of pants every day. Different skirt every day. Different dress every day. That was a lot of work. I ain't got to do that. I'm not going to do all that. But looky here. So the verdict is in. Miss Linda Mathis. And her reasoning for filing for divorce after 39 years. It was something that I was hoping wouldn't be the reason. Wouldn't be the reason. But it seems that it is. That Judge Mathis not only had an affair. He didn't use protection. And he has a son outside of the marriage. So I say kudos to Linda for not tolerating that. Not staying in it. I guess... However old the child is, remains to be disclosed with the simple fact that you throw all that away. And from what I heard someone say, his reasoning was that because Linda was denying him in the bedroom. Looky here, man. Y'all have no idea what women go through with our bodies. And it's almost like let let your wife poke you in the nose and just continuously poke you in the nose. However far her finger goes, let her poke you in the nose. Eventually, it's going to be irritating. Hmm? It might even be irritating the first time. This is where healthy husbands come into play to be able to talk with your wife and see what she is going through. And not only that, be understanding when she just is not in the mood and she's just not going to lay there and just be like, whatever, go ahead and finish. Do what you're going to do. We've had enough of that coercion stuff. Mm -mm. That's like being great. You did. Well, well, I'll be. If you loved me. Women go through a lot. Healthy husbands are the ones who have a conversation and they're willing to wait. They have self-control. None of these excuses. None. Oh, she didn't give in to me. I didn't have none. Getting married doesn't mean you just have free access. It's her body. And whatever she may be going through, be understanding. Wait it out. You do better to keep romanticizing her so that when the time does come and she's willing and able, <laughs> you might feel like you're on your honeymoon. Hmm? Man, I'm disappointed in hearing that it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it at all. And he's talking about he's going to fight for his wife back. <gasps> That may be unforgivable, definitely unforgettable because there's a whole new child and all their children are above the age of 30. Nevertheless, you healthy husbands and wives, keep being the example because it's so much needed. It's needed. It's needed. It is needed. My goodness. Doing all that. Stay single if you feel like you just can't have no self-control. Just be single. You gonna risk it? Mm -mm. Just stay single. Make it a lovely day, not just for you. Help someone else have a lovely day, too. And thank you for gifting me with some of your time. What do you think? You know day in the public spotlight so of course people are going to talk and those of you that get upset because i talk about it mm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
God, I think, I thank God I'm not going through that. I don't know how I'd handle it. Woo! Put your life on the line to birth and stay home to raise while you further your career and then you go and throw it all away by having an affair. Man. Be love.